Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out the Paleo Man 52 Mousetrap, a mousetrap invented by one of my favorite YouTube channels. When I first started on YouTube, I was really interested in flint napping or making Stone Age tools. So I checked out the different channels focused on flint napping and I found Paleo Man 52, a man named Ken who is an amazing flint napper. Here's a tool he made for me based on a rock I dug out at Glass Buttes. This is day site and he is an expert at making very wide and very thin sharp tools. He also made a video about six years ago on how to make a squirrel trap. I was recently checking out his channel and saw the trap and thought I'd make a smaller version for catching mice. Here it is. It's basically a cage with a door for the mouse to enter. This top opens so you can set it. There's a peg tied right here to a back pedal. You place bait in this cup right here. Then you pull it forward. Here's that peg. And this peg goes through and holds up the door. We'll go ahead and set it by lifting this up. You can see where the peg goes through that hole. Got to find it just right. It's hard to do on camera. But now it's set. The mouse will enter through the hole, try to get the bait. And when it steps on it, that door closes and you caught the mouse. Then you can take it outside and let it go. Paleo Man already showed it works for squirrels, but we're first going to test it out with my pet mice. Hey, it looks like it's going to work well. Let's go set up the motion cameras in the barn and see if we can catch a wild mouse. Well, last night we caught a mouse in our Paleo Man 52 style mouse trap. It's a really great design and you can scale it up to catch larger rodents such as squirrels. So thanks Ken for sharing your idea. If you want to check out his channel, especially if you want to learn how to flint nap, I'll put a link down below. Now what we caught is a non-native invasive species called a house mouse. Because it's not part of the natural ecosystem, I can't set it free. Instead, I'm going to humanely dispatch it and feed it to wild animals. So we're going to end this video by seeing what wild animals at the beaver dam enjoy a mouse snack. Thanks for watching.